Okay, so someone requested that I make a video showing how you determine how much solar power you need. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Well, it can be complicated. Um, you know, you can really drill down and find exactly, precisely how much electric you use and need. But I'm going to give you the simplified version. This will get the job done. So, the first thing you want to do is take your appliances and you want to add them up, add up the amount of power you use each day with each appliance. Um, start out with your 12 volt appliances. This is the stuff that has like the cigarette lighter type end. This is your 12 volt DC appliance. Um, usually it's on the bottom or on the back of them, or you can find out online, just uh, go online and search. Uh, the manufacturer usually will list how much it is. Uh, I have this fan here to use it as an example, and it is 2.5 amps. Um, if you only have it in watts, like this uh, shows both, usually it'll show the amps on 12 volt devices. But if you have 30 watts, you just divide it by 12. For 12, you divide the uh, watts by the by the volts, and you get the amps. So 30 watts, 2.5 amps. Um, take all these get the amps and uh, figure out how much you use per day like so I might use this fan 10 hours a day so that would be 10 times 2.5 amps and that will give you amp hours so it will give me 25 amp hours of use per day for this fan all right and then do that for all your DC appliances you know write it down and then add them all up then find your household appliances. This stuff is the uh, has a regular household plug, and this one's for my laptop. And what you'll do is, usually these are listed in watts. You might get amps, but I would go with the watts because the, the amps is based on the household voltage. So try to find the watts of your devices, and usually they do list household devices by watts. Um, you can get a device called a kilowatt meter. Um, it's real cheap on Amazon. I think maybe like 12 or 15 bucks. But uh, if you want to get a precise reading, you can plug your household appliances into it and it'll tell you exactly how much uh, amps or how many watts you use per day in that device. But if you just want to be safe, you can go by what's written on the device. Uh, also on the back or sometimes on like laptops, it's on the power brick. Um, but it'll tell you uh, how many watts it uses, like the maximum amount. But um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So 120 watts. So I would say that's 10. That's 10 amps. And then two two hours a day, so 20 amps. So that's 20 amp hours a day is what I need for this appliance. And uh, once you have all of your appliances amp hours added up. Uh, how many amps they are, how often you use them a day, um, by the hour, and that gives you amp hours. So add all those up. So for mine it would be 25 and 20, it will give me 45 amp hours. So I need 45 amp hours a day. Batteries only, if you, unless you have a, a really expensive kind, uh, like the kind that's in this laptop, the lithium. Uh, most people don't. If you have the wet cell batteries or AGM batteries, you will only be able to use half. So what you want to do is take that total you've got for amp hours of your devices and double it. So it will be 90 amp hours for these two devices. That's the size batteries you need. You need 90 amp hours total on batteries at 12 volts. So what you need to do to determine how much solar you need is you just get you need a minimum of the same amount of watts in solar as you need in amp hours and batteries so I would need 90 watts of solar one for one so one amp hour of battery one watt of solar that's the minimum more solar is better because when it's cloudy and things like that the more solar you have the more you'll be able to put into the batteries but those are the minimums 
anyway that's a simplified version of how to determine how much soil you need to get so once again just in summary take all your appliances find out how much amps they use and how many hours you use them add it all up that'll give you the amp that'll give you half the amp hours you need for your batteries so double that and that number determines how much battery you need and how much solar you need all right if there's any questions just ask them below in the comments and i'll be happy to answer them like and subscribe um, you'll have to use an inverter uh, in your system uh, buy the biggest inverter you need for the most amount of watts of your uh, devices so let's say this device uses 120 watts and that's a, it uses more than any other device that I use so I would need at least a 120 watt inverter to use uh, my devices if you want to use multiple devices you'll need a bigger inverter to add up the watts but um, you know I, I keep a in my van I don't use that much power. It's only the inverters only use as much power as as the appliances pull from it, uh, plus a little bit more to keep itself running. So uh, I keep a 400 watt and a 700 watt uh, inverter. But anyway, uh, if you're gonna if you want to be more precise, you can take 10 percent and add 10 percent to each one of those calculations for how many watts it uses. So I would add 12 more watts to this uh, if I want to be more precise about how much power it uses because that would account for the inverter but generally you'll be okay if you just take the 120 watts or take the most amount of watts that you can find for it and don't worry about that 10% too much